What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with your daily gaming hype report. Today is Friday, August 9, 2019, and here are the top gaming headlines that you need to know about. Remember, if you like any of the stories that I bring to you today, please go to the articles directly and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. Story links can be found in the show description below, so let's get into it. Here are the top two stories that you need to know about. Story number one, Just Cause 4's final DLC gives Rico a hoverboard. This story from GameSpot.com by Steve Watts. The story reads, Just Cause 4 released last December, but Rico isn't finished just yet. Square Enix announced a new chunk of downloadable content titled Danger Rising coming on August 29th. Danger Rising follows Rico as he takes on the agency upon learning it had plans to kill him. It adds a hoverboard to his arsenal of gadgetry, which appears to operate much like a skateboard complete with rail grinding and kickflips. That extra mobility will come in handy against the new agency enemies who sport stronger weapons than in the main campaign. The DLC will add eight new missions, new vehicles, and new weapons. This is the third and final part of the Just Cause 4 Daredevils, Demons, and Danger expansion pass. All right, all right. I didn't think I was going to get this hyped up on a Just Cause 4 announcement, but now I'm cranked up to 11 here on a Friday. I cannot wait to jump back into Just Cause 4 on August 29th to go run around with Rico with a hoverboard. I mean, are you kidding me? Rail grinding, kick flips, wingsuits, and grappling hooks? This game has now become perfect in my mind. I can't wait to give it a try. And the final piece of the DLC expansion pass, so hard to say goodbye, but I can't wait to welcome it into my life one last time. Story number two, Infinity Ward hints at Call of Duty Modern Warfare Battle Royale. This story from GameSpot.com by Jeremy Winslow. The story reads, despite previous reports of Call of Duty Modern Warfare not having a Battle Royale mode, developers Infinity Ward have hinted that the upcoming first-person shooter may include the popular mode. In fact, there are many unannounced multiplayer modes for the Modern Warfare reboot. In a rapid-fire interview with Game Informer, art director Joel Emsley did not confirm or deny whether Modern Warfare will have a Battle Royale mode. However, after being asked if the game will feature the mode, Emsley said, quote, We'll have to wait and see, end quote. Emsley then noted that he's a fan of both the Battle Royale genre and the larger player counts, with his personal favorite game mode being Ground War. So, a lot of back and forth. Just last week, we heard Call of Duty Modern Warfare will not have a Battle Royale mode. Now, this week, they're saying they might have a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Battle Royale mode. What are we going to get? Will we get it? Will we not? But the big one here that I look at, many unannounced multiplayer modes. I mean, what could those games be? How many modes can they really give us? And will they go up against Blackout, the former Call of Duty game for Battle Royale? I can't wait to see. And will Blackout mode just kind of go off into the distance if Modern Warfare has its own Battle Royale? What will really happen with that? So many questions, so many concerns, but I love Battle Royale mode. So give it to me, Call of Duty and Infinity Ward. I would love to have one. And with that, that will conclude this Friday, August 9, 2019, Hype Report. It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, reminding you, if you liked any of the gaming headlines that I brought to you today, please go to the show description below. I've left you all the article links there. You can give them a click and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. You have now been caught up for your Friday, and you're ready to go play some video games over the weekend. I know I need to go take some hot drops and some battle royales because Infinity Ward and Call of Duty are making me feel some type of way. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday, gamers.